It's an awesome moment to spend in the presence of God. My name is Reverend Kingsley, and this is Men of Eternity. I'm here to bring you the word of the Lord. Amen. And I pray that this word will bless you. I pray that this word will quicken your faith. And I pray that this word will help you walk in the righteousness of God. Amen. The title of my message today is God's Kingdom and His Righteousness. God's Kingdom and His Righteousness. Father, we bless you and we give you praise. We are about to study your word. Grant us revelation and understanding that we are able to receive your word in power and in glory in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, so my, my topic is taken from the book of Matthew chapter 6. Matthew chapter 6, verses number 33. Jesus is teaching. He said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Amen. Now, when, when Jesus made the statements, um, he was talking about the needs of man, our needs and the kingdom of God, God and money. Amen. And he said that if we will abandon our needs, if we will, um, set our heart to look for the kingdom of God, to seek after the kingdom of God and the righteousness of God, we will have the other things that we are looking for. Amen. Our needs will be met. Amen. Now, I want to talk about the kingdom of God and his righteousness. But today, I'm going to talk about his righteousness. Then in our next video, I'll talk about the kingdom of God. Amen. Now, I want you to notice from this verse that it says, But seek first, seek, but seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. Now, the scripture says his righteousness. Jesus said his righteousness. The righteousness of the kingdom. Now, the Bible never said that we should seek for our own righteousness. Now, the Bible said we should seek for his righteousness, the righteousness of the kingdom of God. Now, in the book of Matt, Romans chapter 3, Romans chapter 3, Romans chapter 3. Now, Romans chapter 3, verse 21, he says, But now the righteousness of God without the law is manifested, being witnessed by the law and the prophets. Even the righteousness of God, which is of, which is by faith of Jesus Christ unto all and upon all them that believe, for there is no difference. Now, the Bible is saying that the righteousness of God has manifested. And this manifestation of the righteousness of God is by faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. That means that if anyone believes in the Lord Jesus Christ, that person becomes righteous. Amen. Now, this is the righteousness of the kingdom of God. And this is the righteousness the Lord Jesus was uh, telling us to seek after. To seek after the righteousness of the kingdom. And this is the righteousness of the kingdom. To believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. That's righteousness. Amen. Now, unfortunately, when people read the scripture I read in Matthew, when they read the scripture that we should seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness people think that the righteousness is talking about their good works so we have a lot of christians when they read that scripture they they, they take into account in their memory how many times they've read the bible how long they've prayed uh, how many times they've given to the poor how many times they've done something in the church and how long they've done in the church they come up with their own good works, good deeds, and they think that their good deeds is the righteousness Jesus was talking about. No. The righteousness Jesus was talking about was his righteousness, which is faith in Jesus Christ, not our good works. So a lot of Christians do not understand what the righteousness of God is. They think that the righteousness of God is to do good. No, the righteousness of God is to believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. You see, even if you are, if you do not commit sin, it is not necessarily the righteousness of God. Because we have a lot of uh, religions in this world who are against sin. They are against lying, stealing, adultery, and many other sins. Amen. So even without religion, man himself can stop sin. Man himself can decide that I will not do this and I will not do that. Amen. So man, even without religion, without faith, can decide not to sin. But that is not righteousness. So righteousness is not necessarily 
stopping sin neither is righteousness something good doing good works or good deeds righteousness is faith in the lord jesus christ amen now in the book of romans chapter 4 romans chapter 4 we are taught abraham was the case study that paul used to teach us what righteousness is amen now let's come let's read romans chapter 4 verse 1 what shall we say then that abraham our father has our what shall we say then that Abraham our father as pertaining to the flesh has found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he had well off to glory, but not before God. Now the Bible is saying that what has Abraham, Abraham gained by the will of the flesh or by the image of the flesh? And the Bible is saying that Abraham became faith, became righteous by faith. Abraham cannot boast of works. That means Abraham can never stand anywhere and say, I did this and this and that. That's why God made me righteous. By, by faith that he became righteous. Verse 3. For what saith the scripture? Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Now to him that work is the reward not reckoned of grace but of death. Now the scripture is saying that anyone who does something or anyone who works, and receive something based on the work he or she has done the bible said that is not grace that is a debt or a payment amen but if anyone does not work but believes that person receives grace so grace is given to those who believe in the lord jesus christ depend and rely on the lord jesus christ not those who depend on what they do there are many christians who depend on their prayers they have faith in their prayers not the faith in jesus christ now they believe that because they know how to pray and they because they've prayed for five hours god will listen to their prayer because they prayed for five hours so their faith is in their prayers their faith is in what they are doing a lot of christians think that because they have done this and done that god is now going to look at what they have done and bless them or give them favor or give them righteousness and the bible is saying that if you have this mentality you will never receive grace you receive payment for what you have done but no grace grace only comes to those who do not depend on themselves but faith in jesus christ now when we say faith in jesus christ we simply mean that to depend on jesus christ to depend on the death and resurrection of jesus christ as your righteousness amen now let's look at um, the same romans chapter 4. now in the days in the in the days of moses the circumcision amen circumcision was the sign of righteousness now in the days of the law when a man circumcised he is regarded as a righteous man but if a person is not circumcised the person is not righteous so circumcision was based on what they do it was not based on belief in faith in god it was based on what they do amen so circumcision was based on if they are circumcised or not amen and that is what paul wanted to teach us here in the scripture in romans chapter 4. let's look at something now romans chapter 4 verse 9 come this blessedness upon the circumcision only or upon uncircumcision also for we say that faith was reckoned to abraham for righteousness now the bible is saying that paul is saying that does the blessing of righteousness does it come on those who are only circumcised or those who are not circumcised too and he went on and said that but we have already said that abraham became righteous by faith now remember in the book of genesis chapter 15 abraham believed god and he became righteous then in Genesis chapter 17, that is when God gave Abraham the covenant of circumcision. So before Abraham circumcised, he was already righteous by faith. So it was not the circumcision of Abraham. It was not anything that Abraham did that made him righteous. It was belief, faith in God. And this is the lesson that the scripture is giving to us, that we must not depend on what we do to become righteous. We must depend on Jesus Christ, believe in Jesus Christ. So when Jesus says seek first his righteousness, he's talking about getting to the point in your Christian world where you do not depend on your prayer life, you do not depend on any good thing you do, but you depend solely on the Lord Jesus Christ as your righteousness. 
There are lots of Christians after they become born again, they make they set some targets that I'm going to pray for two hours every day, I'm going to read the Bible one hour every day. And when they set that target, they now begin to put their faith in that target. And when they do that target, when they fulfill that target, they see themselves as righteous. Beloved, that is wrong. It's a self righteousness. Set your targets and read the Bible, but never depend on what you are doing to become righteous. You can never end righteousness. It is a free gift from God by faith through Jesus Christ. So even after you are born again, keep on reading the Bible, keep on praying, do not fornicate, do not steal, do not commit adultery, shun evil, shun sin. But while you are shunning self, never think that what you are doing is what will give you righteousness. It is only faith in Jesus Christ that will make you righteous. Amen. So even though that we are walking in holiness, even though we are walking in good uh, holiness and righteousness even though we are giving alms we are doing good and do all these things we should never depend on it to become righteous we should depend always on jesus christ after we are born again in our journey as a christian we should continually continually depend on jesus christ every day of our life when we wake up in the morning it is because of jesus we are righteous not because i prayed not because i fasted not because i read the bible it is because of jesus i am righteous every day of your life so the return of the Lord Jesus Christ. This is how we see His righteousness, not our righteousness. So believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Continue believing in the Lord every day of your Christian journey and you will walk and manifest the righteousness of God in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, if you try to depend on what you do, you will lose the righteousness of God. Hallelujah. Beloved, this is the message for you. His righteousness. Seek and walk in it by faith. In Jesus' name. My name is Reverend Kinsley and this is Men of Eternity. Stay blessed and we shall meet again another time. Amen.